Hi everyone, welcome to Lindark Does Life. In this week's episode, we're going on a day trip adventure to the hamlet of Wobbleman in Parkland County, just west of Edmonton. My name is Linda Huang, and I'm a Canadian blogger and now video blogger sharing about my life. Tune in each week as I do something. <laughs> I'll try things you might want to try, visit places you might want to visit, and eat food you might want to eat. I hope you join me as I do life. This summer, head west from Edmonton for a beach day at Wabaman, Alberta, a lovely little hamlet located in Parkland County, less than an hour's drive from the city. I partnered with Parkland County to show off a few things to do in Wabaman. First off, get a photo of the world's largest dragonfly. Thousands of dragonflies are hatched each June at Wabaman Lake, which is what the 10 meter long dragonfly monument commemorates. It was built in 2009 and made from airplane wings, a light pole, and propane tanks. Next, grab some breakfast, lunch, or dinner at Jingles 52, a cute little diner in Wabaman that's a popular spot for breakfast, burgers, and baked goods, all made in-house. The breakfast croissant, which was so good, bacon and sausage is the way to go. Now let's head to the Wabaman waterfront, which is home to a beachy area, playground, splash park, and marina, where you can rent watercrafts or bring your own to recreate on the lake. This is actually one of Alberta's most popular and cleanest lakes, great for swimming, fishing, and boating of all kinds. When we went, there were already anglers setting up for a day of fishing on the pretty boardwalk. It so happened that our visit lined up with a learn to paddle clinic from the Parkland Dragon Boat Racing Club. So we got to hit the water with the paddling group. We learned all sorts of dragon boating terminology. So boat calls, ready, ready, paddle up, take it away. Hold the boat, put the paddle right here and hold the car. And techniques. I'm gonna keep pulling, hands outside the boat, hands outside the boat, hands outside the boat. And it was such a fun way to spend a summer day. Now let's explore the new Wobbleman Farmer's Market, which started in June 2022 and runs each Sunday at the Old Fire Hall. Yeah! Welcome to the Farmer's Market out here at Wobbleman on Sunday! <laughs> Featuring both indoor and outdoor vendors with a range of offerings from cookies to vodka, fresh fruits to honey, lotions to soups, and more. Shot of soup. I'm a big fan of the soup from Continental Treat. We popped into Gossamer Gallery and Gifts and met the gallery lady, Lois, who told us all about her special space. At any given time, I represent and carry the works of between 40 and 50 Alberta artists. That's everything from painters, sculptors, carvers, photographers, people who work in wire, leather, you name it, I've got it. And my giftware is 90 to 95% either made in Canada or designed in Canada. It's a hidden gem. Gossamer Gallery also sells homemade fudge and is the only place outside of Edmonton that serves famous Fife and Deco pies. Gossamer Gallery also has an ongoing mural featuring iconic Canadian musicians. After a day on the water, many visitors to Wobbleman will head over to the Yellow Submarine for pizza, sub sandwiches, burgers, or Foothills Creamery ice cream. In fact, the ice cream is so popular, they have their own ice cream ordering window, and throughout the day during our visit, there was a steady lineup of ice cream customers. I love their assorted meat sub too. You can add as many vegetables and sauces to it as you want. Finally, if you're in Wobbleman around noon, keep your ears out for their lunchtime air siren. Wobbleman sounds a siren each day at noon to mark the lunch hour. This is left over from the railway days where it was used to signal to workers that it was time for a lunch break. So those are just a few things to consider doing in the hamlet of Wobbleman, Alberta, just less than an hour's drive west of Edmonton. Most people head to the Wobbleman Provincial Park to access Wobbleman Lake, but I hope this inspires you to plan a visit to the hamlet itself. It's a super fun and easy day trip and one I definitely recommend for a beachy getaway close to home. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Lindark Does Life. See you next week. Bitch! <laughs> mm. <laughs>